edition begins this hour tracking the startling spike in COVID cases here in the coastal bend. We have seen a gradual increase over the past week, but yesterday's hike caught many off guard. It did. 960 new cases were recorded in Oasis County. There was one COVID related death, a woman in her 70s with comorbidities. 78 people are currently in the hospital and of that number, 21 are in the ICU. There are roughly more than 2,000 active cases here in South Texas. Across the state, there are more than 44,000. Only two of the state's largest counties have not yet found the latest variant Omicron with the test sequencing. The mutation has not yet been found in Brazoria County, just southeast of Houston and right here in Oasis County. Dr. Salim Sarani is going to join us live for a special interview discussing this latest surge. Dr. Sarani, we usually see you on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thank you for making time in your busy schedule to visit with us this morning. When you saw that number yesterday, 960, what were you paying attention to? Because that was a humongous jump from the weekend. And uh, when, especially when it comes to hospitalizations, we're still down, but the number is rising. Good morning, John. Back to be it. Uh, it is no surprise. If you recall, uh, you know, even before the Christmas week, we suggested that we'll start seeing the surge going on in towards the latter part of the first week and the second week. And so that is pretty expected of what we are seeing and what the Omicron does. It tends to infect a lot of people. And, you know, this number is even lower. We can expect the number to go even higher. The challenge with the Omicron virus is twofold as far as the hospitalization is concerned. Number one, the Omicron doesn't differentiate whether it's a healthcare worker, it's an essential worker, or it's a uh, general public. It infects everyone equally, including the pediatric. So that happened is that they go ahead and infect. So even if you are not very sick and need to be hospitalized, what happened is that the healthcare force or the healthcare worker or the frontline worker, they get uh, infected and they have to be quarantined. That puts a lot of stresses on the hospital when the census in the winter is normally high. And plus, you know, we if you see the increased number of the cases, you have the half the force which is there to handle. The second challenge which happens with the Omicron is even though, let's say, uh, for example, for the viewer, if with the Delta virus out of 100, 20 were getting hospitalized, and with the Omicron, let's say even if four were getting hospitalized, but if the Delta was infected 100 and Omicron is infected 1,000, then even 4% meant to be 40. So it's a double the number of the hospital admission can happen. Fortunately, not all of them are getting admitted in the ICU. So I think what happened is that, you know, we got to flatten the curve, how we do that a little bit, uh, you know, make sure you wear the mask, keep the physical distancing, the cloth mask doesn't work, so use a tree fly mask. And also what I suggest people is that get vaccinated and boosted. That will create an additional shield and defense uh, against those viruses. How long do you think this uh, surge will last? Because we've seen in South Africa that uh, they believe last week or the week before that Omicron had peaked and is coming down. Will we see something similar to that here uh, in the coming weeks as predicted by some? Oh, absolutely. You know, it, 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 it continues to go up and then it comes down. So if you look at New York, uh, that's something which will give you a good idea because in New York, everyone has started getting very, very sick and pretty much uh, most of the people have got infected or they may not have been tested. And what happened is once it keeps on infecting most of the people, it develops kind of a herd immunity pattern and then it tends to fade off. So that is uh, something usually happen in, you know, going up for two weeks and then two to three weeks and then come down. So that is a pretty standard course. So I think the January month would be uh, kind of a rough for the first two Okay, Dr. Sarani, we really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to be with us this morning. Uh, if you have a question for Dr. Sarani, you're sitting at home wondering why this matters or how it affects you, uh, we got the answers for that. You need to send us a text, though, 361-855-6397. Let us know what you want to know.